So when was the last time you saw my guy's hair? I've been wearing helmets in and out of every video that I've actually literally forgotten what his hair and face looks like. <laughs> but anyway, welcome back guys. Today we'll be starting the napalm production site. I've actually been looking we through this game so much that I think, style. you know, there's only a, like a couple missions left. I think big name missions and after this video I gotta go back to the base of operations to go talk to Jessica Cannell and see what she's got going for us. But we are also joined by the one and only Miss Perceptions. He's back. What's going on everybody? Making this trilogy of videos and uh, I'm, I'm happy to have him back. How's it feel to be back on the on the channel today? Hey, it's a blessing. It's an honor, man. Yeah, so he's a level 8. This is a, a minimum of 10, so I'm going to have to probably put it in double the work. But that's alright because I got twice the armor. I spent a lot of time in the Dark Zone, guys. I really wish I was recording. A lot of good shit happened. As you can see, I kind of dashed the military, you know, style. And I just went back to the traditional uh, the division outfit. With a military jacket, I got a laminate armor chest piece, a riot mask, uh, expedition pads. I got a riot backpack, which is actually better than my National Guard backpack, which is why I finally swapped that out. I got heavy-duty gloves, and I got an officer holster. And I'm rocking the ACR just because I know what I said about it videos ago. But it actually, once you get used to it, it's pretty good. I have a few other weapons, but I wanted to, you know, make it for this video specifically. I got an MP7 finally. Uh, I'm going to use that in certain situations that call for it. The mag is rather small. Got my LMG and then I got my classic M1A just because I have all these weapons. I don't know what this bitch is going to consist of, but I want to be prepared for all situations. Well, that's enough talking. Let's get into it, Zed. Agent, the cleaners keep starting fires and we don't have the resources to put them out. If we don't shut down their napalm production, we're one stiff oh breeze away from the entire pearl going up. Thing is, they got their main production facility in the middle of their HQ, which is where you're going. Find it, close it down, and make sure they can't rebuild. Which means taking out boss man Joe Farrow. If he wants, he'll just it all over again. Okay, the level 10, so I guess that's more your, your range that you can deal with that. Any tanks you find, just take deal with them out however you bro. can. Don't just leave it to sound if that's something you've done. Glad you're confident in your ability, that's what I like to see. I was told this mission was supposed to be extremely hard. I don't know. Although that person did say they might have been playing it on hard, they just didn't know about it. My arm is off the charts. I also got a support station finally, so whenever you get hurt, then you just come by me. I can throw down a health station and you just stay in the circle and you'll all, you know, consistently replenish health pretty much. And I also got smart cover, which will help for adding more damage. And I am on fire. Oh, wow, this LMG is pretty good. I actually had another one, but the stats were they lowered my DPS, so I just got rid of it. All right, now we gotta locate the other napalm tanks. Yeah, this game and its dynamic environments is something that makes it a uh, more enjoyable, honestly. I like how you go through all these different environments. Now what the hell is this long strand of glow shit? Hey, the burn. This batch look okay. They're not bad. We would have liked it better if it hadn't almost come down on our heads. Oh, I thought we were supposed to kill people, not tanks. Whoops. So Zay, let everybody know what you've been up to it all this time. <clears throat> Just business as usual, trying to get my following up on social media. Um, yes, yeah, that's, that's, that's really about it. Simple. Really simple. How's it been going for you? Hey, it's been going excellent, man. If you start getting that YouTube money, you can treat me to uh, some brunch. Sure. Beef, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that Conor McGregor lifestyle. <laughs> nah, man. I've just been cranking up videos and watching Daredevil. Yeah, that show is off the chains. Yeah, tell, tell them about the Daredevil. Explain that. I fully don't understand it yet. You said it's like My a man. Netflix exclusive. 
Not much to it, but I'm pretty sure everyone here knows who Daredevil is, but uh, for Yuza, I'll make the exception. Yeah, it's an Netflix exclusive, the Marvel stuff to deal with them, because they're trying to build up a Defender series, which if you know the Defenders from the comics, you know what that consists of. So they're making Daredevil, they made just recently Marvel's Jessica Jones, and they're going to be making, and actually featured Luke Cage, and they're going to be making an Iron Fist TV show as well, and then it's all going to come together and they're going to form the Defenders. Now, since it is set within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, there's major implications that eventually could hit the cinematic world. Uh, there's hopes for it. It's doubtful because, like the director said, despite them being under the same, you know, logo and everything and the same brand, doesn't mean they could just throw everyone all together willy-nilly. So, I'm hoping to at least see Daredevil in Infinity War because, you know, he, the actor himself just confirmed it. You know, his atmosphere and the dynamic that Daredevil brings, it fits beautifully with their world, and I would love to see it. Does that answer your question? Absolutely. <laughs> and I highly recommend it. Like I said, I'll let you borrow it up with account so you watch that shit. Man. You should have a lot of ammo, dude. I'm trying to take out a shotgun and dickhead in front of me. There we go. This ACR is nice. I actually got a Scarl, which has better DPS, but for the sake of this video, I just wanted to use it. I'll probably use the Scarl in the next one. I like to swatch, you know, switch out my uh, inventory every now and then. Are right, you at the last one? I don't know where he's at. Is he even alive? Uh, yeah, it's not a him. Dead. It's they're an napalm tank. Oh, uh, an napalm tank? Where's it at? Oh, here it is. He's stand away from it because I feel like I'm about to die. With your luck. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, here. So I have a question. So if you equip an assault rifle and the an SMG, like you can swap out like between the two weapons, like on the fly by double double tapping Y. No, double tapping Y brings you to your pistol. I thought you double tap Y. I was watching your video. I watched. I thought you double tap Y and you brought out another another primary weapon. I could have swore you did that. Actually, no. I recently complained because sometimes it the game bugs out. Like you'll actually. So if you swap uh -huh. to your pistol, right, and then you press Y again, you're gonna swap back to the last gun you had. Right. And sometimes, yeah, I would just like keep on pressing Y until I went back to my primary. And I'm over here trying to look for this resupply thing because I need ammo. There it is. That's not even a resupply thing. Wow. All right. Well, what did it drop? All right. So I guess that was like a med kit or whatever. Just a piece of clothing over here. Winter jacket. Sure, we'll take it. Why not? All right, I'm gonna keep on moving forward. So that I think you were pro uh, positively received in your past videos. Okay. How does that make you Excellent, feel, man? I want to keep coming back, dude. All right, man. Keep freeing up time. Keep doing good business so you can have more free time. Big business, baby. <laughs> I knew that was what it was going to come down to. There's a restock right here. Oh, there it is. I know it or not. I didn't see it. Now I walked by that shit. Alright, now we got to go kill some more goons. Even though I almost said something else. Yeah, I know what you were about to say. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone else does too. <laughs> At this point, yeah. Because I, I made it a point to leave that part in the other video that you were in, so people could at least get a background oh, yeah. story on that. I made it a point. I cut out all the extra like, footage that was a waste, but I was like, I'm going to leave that in there just because we'll get some kicks out of that. I see the social interaction between the two gods in the game. Yes. Keep them away from the tank. Or two low lives. You can't let them get low to the lives. tank. I wonder why these guys are level 10s. Might be because you're in here. But I thought it goes... I don't know. This game is weird with the level system. People tell me it goes off like whoever the highest level is in the group. I'm a 12, so I, did, I was expecting 12s or 14s. Or some shit like that. I'm going to swap to my end. M1A. Marksman rifle real quick. I just realized I have my ACR as my secondary. Whoopsie. There we go. Swap that back. <coughs> I wonder who the boss is going to be for this mission. Is 
So far this game is potentially my game of the year or game of the generation for that matter. I don't know about you, Zay, but I just I have a really, yeah, really unique good. bond with this game. I kind of wonder what like, the final mission is going to be. I bet you're going to have to be like a level 25 or more in order to do it. This ACR is ripping people to shreds, especially since I got that 20% stability boost. Helps out so much. I like how Zay's the ground trooper and I'm like the scout sniper, like the punisher. I get it. I want to jump down, but I'm not going to risk that. Oh my goodness, they got a sniper. I may go down trying to take my, yeah, it's an elite sniper too, no wonder. Alright, Zay, you don't have a sniper on you, do you? Absolutely not, no. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll have to take care of it then. Just revive me if I go down. And he just tagged me up too. This is like some Saving Prime Ryan shit where this dude and I, I don't even know, man. I mean, God bestowed upon me the ability to use my hands to be a sniper, but shit. Yeah, he got me. He got me. Oh, snap. Damn, you're about to die too. Get up and shoot. Alright, this fucking sniper's gonna get my damn nerves. He's almost down. He's down. Why couldn't I do that before? Wow. Warning. Chemical signature detected. Source identified. Could've done that before, could have avoided a tired death right there. All right, the generator's oh, on. There's Ready a bag over here. Got one bed kit. There's another resupply over here. Now we gotta initiate the detonation sequence. Now as the main protagonist in this video, I'll take care of it. Take it off your hands. Sure. It says we gotta defend the detonator. Joe Farrow, bet you he's the boss. I guarantee it. So Zay, what do you think the point of this game is? Just curious. I just had a thought of this game. Um, I mean, I think the point of this game is to show what unity can really be like in the race. Ooh, that's deep. I wasn't thinking about it. I was just thinking like this game, like as far as what what we do, pretty much we just go from point to point in the game. Kill some dudes, kill a boss, complete our objective, and move on. That's what I meant, but I see what you mean. <laughs> you took it a step further than that. Don't like that. One shoot that guy before so he grenade. When did you get an LMG? Like a while ago. Nice. These are things you gotta tell the people, man. Alrighty. There's a veteran level anonymous. 10. You should know about that. <laughs> yeah, well, we're not going to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The last thing I need to show them to hear that shit and come to my channel. Shit. It's kind of funny because if like, we wanted to, we can expose an anonymous member right now. Or used to be an anonymous member because there ain't nothing anonymous about us knowing, right? <laughs> 
I love this M1911. I love this shit to death. Just so you know, we can see the explosion from here. Now, there's probably more napalm tanks in the building. Take care of them first, then see what you can do about Pharaoh. Alright, so yeah, I think we're nearing the end of this. We gotta take out the napalm tanks and then we gotta deal with the main boss. Boss. Alright, so this area, straight up, I don't know if you played it or seen the movies yet, but this area has like a straight up Tron feel to it. Think so? Yeah, well, you're not in here with me. If you were coming here, you'd see what I mean. I don't mean down in the construction site, I mean like once you get to this area. This shit just, right. yeah. Or at least let me know what comes to mind for you. That's what comes to mind for me at this area. Persian girl. Persian girl? What? Or did it's you mean video. Polish girl? Polish girl, yeah. Oh, from Neon Indian. Okay. It's a song, guys. Highly recommend it. Actually, I put a link down in the description so you guys can hear what he's talking about. It's a good song. Turn it from Grand Theft Auto 5. One of the best games ever. Oh my gosh. Sure, there's a lot of people in here, I think. I don't see anybody. Okay, hey, never mind. No, I do. You're right. You're right. You're right. I see it. Okay. They are fucking firing up right now, too. Thinking about going back to Halo and finishing that. Halo 2. I don't know yet. I mean, I got next next week. I don't really have anything planned, you know, except this game. And then after next week, I'm going to be starting Resident Evil 6. And then... I'm on fire, Justin. Justin, I'm on fire. Can you help me? Probably going to do, I want to say, Quantum Break after that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy is getting too close to comfort. And I can't help you when you're on fire. That's for you to do it, man. Wow. I was on fire, too, when, I I, when you said that. Hear that. The viewers are going to see that I was on fire when you were on fire. That's something I would have been able to do. <laughs> right. Where's the last one at? Oh, it's up here. No, it's down there. Whoops. Okay, people. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to fall back. We're going to meet up at the watchtower. And we're going to hold them there. You hear me? That's where we're going to make us stand. And that's where they're going to wish they never met with us. Sure. So here's what's gonna happen today. We're gonna go there to the water tower and we're gonna kill every single one of these VC gooks. Alright. I like that reference by the way. It's a good one. Cause he seems so sure about what's gonna happen. I know I reference Tron a lot in this game, but yeah, this area just takes the cake. Just reminds me of the grid so much. Makes me think of Clue, actually. That reminds me of phenomenal. <laughs> He's not worthy enough of being mentioned in these videos. Come on, <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing some high quality, high level stuff with these videos. That's, that's, he's not worthy of that fight yet. Uh, luckily, the viewers won't know who we're talking about unless they were unfortunate yeah. enough to meet him. I mean, <laughs> very unfortunate enough. Where are the guys at? They're like that super downstairs. Uh, and I'm trying just... to switch my gun real quick before we engage them. They're getting in close. I might swap to my SMG. Oh shit, oh shit. Axe guy. Yeah, I'm switching to my SMG. Guy got too close for me. Ooh, there's a sniper. Well, uh, I took care of the last sniper. You can take care of the next one, can't you, man? No. Oh my goodness. I didn't even know that guy was behind me. This MP7 rips. Melted that, man. Yeah, I had to go back to, you know, the traditional assault rifle SMG setup. Works pretty well, actually. 
saw some gameplay of it before, and this thing, you get like a legend. I don't know if it's because it was the beta, but that shit, you couldn't win against the one v one with it. Yep, I'm um, down. Why? Why are you over there with them too? Now I gotta fight my way to get to you and everything. Do it, Justin. I believe in you. Get a Job, bitch slap Justin. that guy real quick. Job, Justin. It's the six. How many times do I gotta tell you that? It's the real six, God boy. Job, the six. Yeah, that was real mature of you, man. Appreciate it. I took him down. Yeah, I think the viewers will discover that I actually took him down. What the hell is this guy? Yo, is yo, this guy yo, Iron yo, Man? Justin, what the shut heck? Him down. Justin, shut this guy down before he puts me on fire. <laughs> I'm over here no, looking I'm at this away. guy. I'm running away. I like how you're the I'm one running away. away and I'm just here standing out in the open. <laughs> what the hell? Like, I don't give a fuck. Probably because I'm level 12 and shit. I mean, if you come over here and observe, well, if you can, I'm observing what, you know, we may be facing in a second here. Isn't that kind of scary? What the? Alright, well, looks yeah. like we're gonna have to deal with that in a second. I'm gonna let you deal with that, Sam. I'm gonna, you know, go sit in the corner and let you handle that, alright? Alright. I'm gonna let you take over this video. Dude, why is he so big? I don't know, he's like the, the, the cheap knockoff of the Hulk. I don't know. Glass bolt. We gotta kill everybody downstairs. I just dropped my med station thing real quick. Oh, an accident. We got a level 10 veteran shotgunning guy. I am not messing with him. It's ain't exactly the best source of cover, but I'll take it. Oh my god, are they always using shotguns? I'm pulling back. Whoa! Oh my goonies. That man just did a G-slide. What the hell was that? Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I wanted to shoot him before he threw that grenade. I don't like these guys. They're always using fire. Hope they burn themselves. God, this shotgunning guy is getting on my nerves. I am glad that's over. How come their turrets are better than ours? Oh my god, that guy's tagging me up. Like how you shot him in the face. All right, Mr. Big Man's getting out the glass window, so get ready. All right, you know how to handle this, don't you? We've done this before, so no. I'm gonna go on one side, you go on the other. Okay, well now you know. But he's got a lot of henchmen. We gotta deal with the smaller guys first, then we gotta focus on him. This MP7 is something I'm going to be holding on to for a while. No doubt about that. Not only until I get something better. Pretty sure if I just put like an extended mag on it, it'd be alright. Probably crap. only add two bullets. Oh crap. oh crap! Justin saved me! How did you go down in the first place? I don't know, dude. Alright, well I'm a bit of in a tight spot. I'm between fire and the boss right now. I don't even know where you're at, to be honest. Right above me. Alright, I'm Dying. approaching cautiously. I'm dead. Not anymore. Wow, Run that was immediately. Clutch. That was super. Oh. 
And I'm on fire, I'm on fire, I'm on fire. That med kit just went to waste pretty much. Yeah, I'm swatting my LNG for this one. Oh wow, he's down here with us. We gotta get him in between us, we can't be together. We gotta tag the tanks on his back. So he's coming towards me, I want you to go around him. Okay, now he's going towards you. I'm gonna let him keep going towards you, and that's the point. We gotta do that. Shoot the tanks on his back to get the most damage possible. I'm running around to the other side somehow. There we go. Now we got him where we want him. Stay over there. Yo, his flamethrower is OP as shit. Drop some smart cover real quick. I'm dropping an aid station. And I'm setting up shot. Yeah, you might want to pull away on that note. Shoot him, man. Got that damage boost in there, man. Let's go. He's almost down. We got that. Can I do with a pistol shot? Yes, I can. Warning. Detonation sequence. Get a lot of good shit, too. Alright, let's get out of here before we turn into barbecue. I just hit my mic against my mic. I hadn't done it this entire video, and I finally did it. My goodness. <laughs> Sounds so scary on my... Yeah, I was about to say that. How scary that was. The scariest thing you're like, it makes you think there's some bad shit going on in your house. <laughs> I left that in that video too on purpose. Someone should have told Farrell that lighting up was bad for his health. With him out of the way and their main source of napalm out of commission, the cleaners are going to be a lot easier to deal with. A lot of people on the streets are going to owe you their lives, whether they know it or not. Good work. He's got 20 Uplay points for whatever reason. Who gives a fuck about that shit? Well, that was uh, not that hard of a mission. He only died once. Then, I mean, it was off some garbage. But that's going to conclude this video. And the little trilogy that means they have started. He'll be back within the series at least one more time. Not going to say when. But, uh, he will definitely be returning. You got any closing words, uh? Nah, man, I just hope the viewers enjoyed this, and it was a pleasure being on the videos, man. Alright, well, let's, let's leave it on Legendary now. Let's kill these dudes, kill these goops real quick, and then, uh, close out the bit. Like that. Wow, what the hell did we just come out into? No, right? What the? Got, that's some cool irony. We just survived one mission to get out of here into the world to get killed by some more dudes. What the hell? These guys are level 12. So my, my area is level, my level range. Go see what these guys drop real quick. large suppressor i'll take it that's it guys hopefully you enjoyed it let me know by subscribing if you haven't already liking the video and commenting and uh see you on the next one as always